I've always loved Kansas City. I never planned on growing old in New York. The plan was to move out there, learn how to cook, and then bring some of that knowledge and skill back to Kansas City and try to elevate the culinary environment here. We opened our doors in the East Crossroads on April 13th of 2018, so it's been about a year since we opened. I had always wanted to be my own boss. I had wanted to own my own restaurant since I started cooking and to have that kind of creative freedom and not have to answer to anybody else. Novel falls under the umbrella of New American cuisine, but the definition of New American, I think, as California envisioned it, is not necessarily what we do at Novel. While we respect the ingredients and pay homage to them, we also manipulate them in a way that I think traditionally New American cuisine didn't intend. We kind of uh, rebranded it as novel American cuisine in a way that the paradigm had shifted away from New American as a, as a catch-all to more world influences and being more accepting of techniques and uh, ingredients and manipulating things than the uh, pioneers, I think, imagined. It's a really fun environment. We get a really diverse group of uh, clientele. On Friday night, it's hopping. It's just a well-oiled machine. The food's coming out the way we want it to, and customers are happy. My desserts are half classic, half modern. Kind of fuse those together. I uh, take like a classic dessert, add some twists, add some new flavors. I get my inspiration when I'm out of the kitchen. So I dream about desserts a lot. Brightness is really important in my desserts. An unexpected flavor like passion fruit or blood orange gives it that wow factor and something that they can remember. When a dish comes together, I'm really excited just about the flavors, the impact that the flavor has. All the ingredients kind of flow together in a beautiful way, from the acidity to the texture to the colors. We use a lot of local ingredients here. We have a huge responsibility to support local farmers, the ones who are actually planting and growing the things that we eat. It feels good to eat from the ground. The crispy egg is one of our signature dishes. It's always been served with some kind of off cut of meat and I, I just thought it was really a fun dish. Right now it's served with a tripe and a green salsa verde. So it's almost like a South American menudo pozole mix, but it really embodies everything that we want to project about novel American cuisine. It's technique driven, the egg is cooked three times. It's circulated to set the yolk and then it's poached to set the white and then it's breaded and fried to make it crispy on the outside. So you've got the technique. It's got the reveal when you cut into the crispy egg. It's got the juxtaposition of temperature and texture. And then you've got the tripe in there, which is kind of an off cut that requires a lot of manipulation and technique to make it palatable. And then it just hits all the other notes. You've got the smoky bacon with the umami flavor. You've got the sour tomatillo, which gives it an acidic punch. You've got the vibrant green herbs, the cilantro and the basil that give it a, a freshness. And then you've got a little bit of heat from the jalapenos. So it really, it really just hits all the notes in my opinion. And it's just really creative and a lot of fun. I see the Crossroads as a family. We're all growing together and it's growing so fast. The Crossroads is constantly evolving. It's got a real unique uh, proprietary feel, I think. A lot of art galleries, small independent restaurants. Art definitely plays a big role in, uh, in everything we do down here in daily life and in, in cooking in general. 
that's one of the things that attracted me to it in the first place, I think, is the creative freedom. When you're putting the food on the plate, it's almost like you're starting with a blank canvas. This is gonna go out to somebody and they're gonna look at it and the expression you eat first with your eyes is apt. It really is fun because you get an opportunity over and over again to create art and then it disappears and you have to start all over again.